way back we've been friends since way back made in since way back how it's been since way back since back then can't change that we've been how's it going everybody sorry for the breaks again hey everyone it happens there was end game and there were conventions and then there was life <laughs> there was life yeah. Not necessarily in that order. Actually, yes, in that order. No, like, so we thought we'd start off with that Sonic trailer for this. You know, a lot, lot, lot of talk, lot of on, talk the on the internet. A lot of hate, man. So much hate. There's so it's always instead of being like, man, they're coming out with the fucking Sonic movie, like, and it's and it's not gonna be like the Super Mario Brothers movie from the fucking nineties. <laughs> like, I, I think that's just kind of people are trying to compare it to. Like, they're they're trying to compare it this this Dawn of Age Super Mario brothers movie Honestly. which that was really like they they took that that concept and went totally different yes they just said okay we're gonna have a guy named mario and we're gonna have a guy named luigi so and that's it and hey, then what's up, did... andre good to see you again <laughs> we're just gonna do our own uh our own non canon star whatever we just right, want to come up right. with right yeah and the, we're just gonna the goobas do... look like miniature Myth. miniature fat-headed uh, or small-headed uh dinosaurs. yeah they were weird they were so weird and this one it doesn't look like that i mean you can talk <laughs> shit about jim carrey not being big enough to be how dare you skinny shame jim carrey and not being fat enough to play dr robotnik you i kind of happy they didn't go the fat i i would have been okay maybe just not that big he looks like an egg and yes that's part of his dr robotnik egg bot you know he's it's even incorporated into his machinery and shit but it's not, like you said, is that going to look good on the good big screen? And does, is it necessary? Is it going to play into the jokes well? I don't think Dr. Robotnik is funny because he's fat. That wasn't what made Dr. Robotnik funny. No. Or Sonic funny with making fun of him for being fat. No, he made, he just kind of clowned on him, which was great. He was like very like Spider-Man-esque. If you had to like, yeah. No, he always, yeah, used comedy to yep. kind of lighten it up, lighten up the dark mood of what's really happening. <laughs> You you could literally he could literally die any moment, but he's just he's like he's like yeah man it's a race I took nine million steps today like that was great those lines are great like yeah, you said I mean in the good. visual you know we could pull up the visual or whatever and we could do these vast comparisons of like all right why does this Sonic not look the way we want this Sonic to look but one they've already addressed it like today they came out with the thing which I was I was so glad I was like cool we have something to talk about there's there was a couple things and then. Uh, the death of Peter Mayhew's that was really sudden. And oh yeah, out of, I mean, I guess it's not out of nowhere. He's like seventy four, but it's kind of out of nowhere for us as Star Wars fans. We're like, oh, we're getting ready for this Star Wars film in the fall, and another one dies. Like the original one too. Like Chewie's could could be considered, you know, like that original cast because mm -hmm. he is in the first movie, and he is even though he doesn't have a speaking role, he is like no, near and still, dear to our hearts. Yeah, he's yeah. Still... and he was Peter Mayhew. I actually got to meet Peter Mayhew at. Oh, Kong. was Starfest or something yep. like that? Okay, yep. so I he thought. was a cool guy. He's tall <laughs> as hell, dude. He is visibly taller than everybody else. You oh, know yeah, what I mean? could, he looks like a tall guy already. We'd oh, like yeah. Look well, at I mean, but the there's tall guys, like, and then there's like, like I said, he is like visibly ahead above oh, that, every like, other single person in the room. Yeah, he looks like a monster. Is what I <laughs> yes, <saying>. he does. <laughs> like, I wanted to say that tall guy, but it. he looks like a monster. No, 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 he <laughs> does. He's, he's tall like Ringside, and he was a good man. He was like a funny guy, like when you actually like heard him talk and stuff, because he would do interviews and stuff. Um, and he was really down to earth. I feel like, like Peter, especially being Chewbacca, like you're not that recognizable out in public. He still, he's the one that does the vocals, though, still, right? Or I think does he does somebody do the, do, uh, I don't know if do he does the vocals. The vocals. Over. Mm -hmm. I thought he did do the vocals. He probably does. I think he did, because that seemed like maybe a lot to have someone else get someone to play the cost. It's like I you mean, already they, do that for Vader. They, yeah, as I said, they did it for Vader. Right, but Earl you already Jones, do but... that for Vader. You want to do it for every single actor in the yeah. film, which yeah, they I mean, do. That, that would have been very film. hard to get that iconic. Uh, hey, what's up, Tony? Earl jo Jones. Uh, Vader voice. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And else. then you couldn't have like, yeah, we just want you to play the voice the one from <laughs> friends, uh, Family Guy, which is fucked up, but you know, it makes sense. Like oh, it's, it's Tony. It's Tony. It's Tony. Tony. Is, he is doesn't, it just like, you, he doesn't Tony? like Batman no more. He says he likes Daredevil. Oh, man. Good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck Batman. <laughs> it's like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I... I I never, I didn't even get past the first episode of, of the still. Titans. Still, I, I, I still, you know what? I do got to go check out that everyone says is good. Doom Patrol. You, Doom Patrol you is actually got to check out really Doom Patrol. Good. I actually watched maybe, I think we watched four episodes of that. And uh, yeah, it's really like just out there and quirky and kind of just weird. Right. Which um, is what you want. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, no, not. Sorry, I'm trying to get this stuff going too. But, um, 
But yeah, it's a it's a good uh, show too. I watched yeah, like say a few, ooh, few episodes. But uh, having um, got to finish that one up as no. well. Have you checked out? Uh, and I'm sure you might not have had time. The new zombie, on uh, series on Netflix, uh, Black Summer. Black Summer. No. It's. <laughs> is it? It's just a series. Yeah, it's a series, it's like eight episodes. Oh, okay. So it's not too bad, but obviously there's tons of shit to watch. Um. Yeah, the it's good. It's good, but what like there's good things and bad things. One of the bad things is some of their pacing. They there are, are almost whole episodes of like dramatic tension built with like very little action, where it's literally like twenty minutes of like. Uh huh. Which gets old really quick. You know what I mean? Without dramatic resolution. Like that gets really old really fucking fast. So I ended up going boop, 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 until it would do something. But the parts that are not dramatic tension are excellent. Like, oh. They're really fucking well oh, written like... huma- humanity wise. And like, like specifically, uh, one of the things I like that others, other series claim to like do which is like kind of cast aside the dead. Like one of the ones who's really big about it is like, oh, they'll kill anyone in Game of Thrones. And then I watched the series. I was like, not really. Every death is really dramatic and like drawn out and protracted and matters and like affects the storyline. And like, mm-hmm. like, yeah, you, the people you like as heroes don't die all of them, but I watch anime, dude. Everybody dies in anime. In this, they do not give a shit about the characters. And what I, I mean is there's no the drama for it. And, but what I mean by that is it's not like they don't develop them or anything. Mm-hmm. You, you have emotional attachment to these characters and they get built up for you. And there's like one instance where this isn't true or maybe one or two. But like nine times out of ten, death hits like a fucking truck. It's like out of nowhere. And then there's no time to grieve. There's no like big buildup of music or anything. No, it's just like he's dead. Move the fuck on. Which is great. I love that. That's, that is a disposable character. Mm-hmm. That is it's like, nope, he doesn't matter to the story. He's not like, yes, he's emotionally attached to you, but he's not. we're not giving him that time. Even mm. if he is attached, we're not going to give him a death scene of him dying in your arms or the sad music funeral. Nope. Sorry. This is a zombie movie. Keep it fucking moving, which I, I love. That's like the best part of it is that like there's one where, um, fuck, where's like the best part of it is, uh, they're like walking through the street. This lady, the dude and the chick or whatever. And, uh, He's talking, he's like, man, I don't know what the fuck happened. And bam! And a fucking truck smashes her, dude. Yeah. Fucking flush. She's done, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Fucking a truck stop for a minute. He's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Drives off. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, I gotta go. And fucking he's gone. And someone comes up and says, all right, then they gotta go. It's like, yeah. it's it's really like, and that's one of the more dramatic drawn out ones is that one where she's died. Other ones, like I remember one dude is just like, uh, kill me, kill me. Because he can't like keep over in the... Bam, and they walk off, or they're running away. That's, that's it. Like there is no mm-hmm. sad music, like dramatic tension and darkening, like everyone's faces. You know, it's it, it. I like it. It's more natural in those situations. It's like, no, you really don't got time for that shit. Get your ass moving. Hmm. Uh, so that one was pretty good, but like I said, watch it with your hand, finger on the. Also, they brought the ten second back button back. Yeah, I yeah, seen the that. The forward yeah. and back. Yeah. That's smooth. I don't know why they ever got rid of it. This is the 30 seconds forward, 10 seconds back is terrible. 10 seconds, 10 seconds is awesome. It's the best thing ever. I cannot. I, I remember when they used to do that back in the old like clip part Netflix days where you mm-hmm. could like drag it and see the clips and stuff. I don't know. They were fun. And then we had Sonic. What else is there really good to talk about? I mean, we got Endgame, but we kind of want to save that and we can't really spoil anything. So. No. And, I was so mad. I got so many spoilers ahead of time because I was running the chat groups and I couldn't go the first day because I was at the convention. Oh. So then, like, I'm running the chat groups and people are posting spoilers and I'm having to ban them out for it. I'm just like, motherfuckers. Oh. So, like, some of them I did and didn't know. And some of them weren't true, obviously, or were and pissed me off later. But And then there's some things that weren't ruined, like stuff with Thor, which I can say that without ruining anything, but I can't really say any more than that. Um... What else? We got Spider Man coming next. Yeah, that's in not till July though, right? Yeah, it's not that far though. Yeah. Just, what two months? Three months? This yeah, two months now, starting from today. Yep. To, well, no, today's May second now. Yeah, yesterday's May first. Yep. Oh, and it was it comes out on what the 
probably the 20th or something. Mm, it's like the first, yeah, first, no, I thought it was like the first the week first? of uh, oh, July, okay. I think. Here, let's look it up. Um, let's see. And like you said, anyone who's watching, feel free to steer the conversation with comments. Uh, Spider-Man, maybe eight. Yeah, far from home. Let's do that. <laughs> Releases on July 5th. So, yep, it's pretty early. Oh, hey. July 5th. It'll be a uh, memo- no, we had a 4th of July weekend mm-hmm. movie. So, that'll be a fun one. Is that a weekend? What is that? Um, that would... I think that's going to be on a, uh, Friday. Yep, Friday. I mean, it's, we, they, te- they tend to shoot for those days. Mm-hmm. So, it's not like we really had to guess. Um, I'm excited. Especially after the Infinity War stuff. I mean, I think that's one of the things about Infinity War, or not Infinity War, uh, Endgame that people already knew is like, Spider-Man's got a movie after it, Spider-Man lives. Yeah, I think everyone kind of knew everyone's going to come back, but then I, I think it was more of just like how, how they were going to Right, yeah. and it, that was the thing. They were never going to keep everybody. And I think, and I don't want to ruin it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was one of those things like, and a lot of the theories that have been postulated were true. You know what I mean? A well, lot when of- it first started up, like literally within the first... 20 minutes in i was like oh okay they're gonna do that that's what they're gonna do i already know they're gonna do how to 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 solve this and then i mean it was pretty obvious and it had been talked about the rumors were all over you know what i mean this movie had was too big not to have the rumor train following it and the postulations but there were tons of them that i loved though that were just straight wrong (laughs) straight wrong and i don't i can't tell those either because that ruins that's the thing like some people were even posting stuff and they're like this isn't like no spoilers, but this isn't like that's a spoiler, you stupid son of a bitch. Like, seriously, that's a spoiler. Like, you just said that character's here. I, they might not have been there. They don't, we don't know what the fuck's going on. For all we know, Cap gets shot in the head in the first three seconds, and you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not gonna happen, but fuck, man, leave me into some suspense. Um, let's see, Spider Man Far From Home, Lion King's coming. That's this month. Yep. Um, uh, what else do we got? Do we know? No, just your Chucky and your Toy Story. There's gotta be more stuff. That's man. next month, actually. Yeah, because Chucky and Toy Story come out next month. They're actually on the same weekend. All right, let's double check it. They even made fun of uh, Toy Story because they had Chucky dragging, uh, or not dragging, but they had uh, Woody's hat right there. We got Aladdin. Oh, yeah, that's Toy right. Aladdin Story comes 4. out. I think that comes out though, yeah, in June. John Wick Chapter Three. In June. Uh, Hellboy, unfortunately, I still haven't seen. I was. I liked it. There's some people that hated it. Um, I like David Harbor as Hellboy. He wasn't terrible. I heard that there was just other stuff wrong with it as opposed to David Harbor himself. But I haven't seen it, and so I can never, I never make that. I still have to see that too. Us. Uh, that was Pet good Cemetery, too. That was good. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Pet Cemetery actually came I'm out. I'm super looking less. For it. Last uh, last month. Nice. I haven't seen it. So. It was good. Uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters is going to be a great one. Joker, obviously. How to Train Your Dragon. Okay, that came out, yeah, in February. February? All right. Uh, Frozen 2. I wish these were in order. Frozen 2, Unleash Battle Angels is always that. Oh, Zombieland Double Tap. Is that already out? I don't know if that's going to come yeah, out this year. It says I know it's they're. Year. I know they're in making it now. October 11th release date. So but far, they might, they might actually, yeah, they might. I mean, be we didn't to... say that, but like they said that about uh, New Mutants. Yeah. And I mean, it is, it Bright is being, Burn. it is when being made. Burn so May twenty fourth. That's this month. I'm looking yeah, forward. There to we go. Bright Burn is going to be good. Uh, I think that's pretty much all that falls under our neck of the woods. There was some stuff in like folders I saw for like foreign films and other shit. Like there was this one that was a Norwegian film. Let me see. Maybe I can find it. Um, space. No, it just pulled up. Oh, we have uh, Pokemon comes out this month as well. Yeah, that's the other one. I knew there was something yeah. coming. No. Sci-fi films, 2019. No, all right. I guess trying to search for anything foreign on the internet is damn near impossible. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm not going to worry about it because it's too much fucking work to worry about it. Yeah, we already had glass, which... It was not bad. I, I thought it was pretty I, decent. I haven't seen it yet, actually. It's pretty decent. It's not bad. It's not good. It's not as good as the other two, for sure, in my opinion. It does a decent job of tying in a lot of... Like, it's a cool... It's what I would say about Endgame. Like, Endgame's probably not my favorite Avengers movie. But... Oh, yeah. I think that was, hands down, my favorite one. I really like it. But personally, it's not my favorite. It might even rank it as the best. But, like I said, it's just personally, like... I didn't like it as much as maybe the, uh, Infinity War. I really like it. I like Infinity War, but I just... Oh, I don't man, know. I, love I just love, arc. like, the way... Sandman, yeah, New Moon's Joker. We got all these. Gemini Man, that's a good one that's coming out based on the old uh, TV show. Terminator, um, yeah. Terminator. Well, Gemini Man's the one I was more excited for with Will Smith. You know that one? <sighs> Anything Will Smith does, I don't. Mm. I love everything Will Smith does. He really? Movie, yeah, I haven't. I don't think there's a single movie Will Smith is in that I don't enjoy. I just, you know what it is? I just, he's one of those actors that just is like, he's just Will Smith, that's, which is cool. That's cool with me. I'm it fine is a with that. Problem. His characters, like, but there are like, if you go see him in other stuff, like, yes, his main roles. The are The only Will one Smith. I think he honestly did was like that wasn't probably Will Smith. Was that um, the one where? He had a li- he was living in a bathroom with his son. Oh, the happy uh, uh pursuit of happiness. Happiness. That's the probably the you only. You gotta see more. Have you never seen, seen Seven Pounds? I've se- oh, that's probably another one. Yeah, I was gonna say like he's mainly known for being Will Smith, but he is a good actor. That's like you just have two. to go look. No, that's probably there's the only more. Two that I there's remember, more. Like, you though. just you haven't seen enough Will Smith movies. Go I watch remember, more of those side pounds. Will Smith movies. Because you're watching too many mainstream Will Smith movies. You need to watch some side shit where he's not the main comedy actor role. Go find more serious Will Smith movies. Or, uh, yeah, just less comedy. Because when he's in comedy, he's Will Smith. It doesn't matter what he's doing. Oh, playing. yeah, no, yeah. Anytime he so, does like, that, he's but... doing that pigeon one or whatever, he's going to be Will Smith. That's It's going to be Will Smith as a pigeon. That's it. Yeah. That's, a, that's fine. I, I, that's funny. It's the same with Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler oh, yeah. is just whoever he, with exceptions, right? Adam Sandler <laughs> does have he, good acting either, parts. Sometimes he will, yeah, like, when he has to. It's about the role. It's all about the role. He plays the role that he's supposed to play, and most of the time he's cast as a, you know, kind of dumbass, you know, Joker. Yeah, that's his role. Same and same way that you know, uh, Jeremy Renner is almost always cast as a very serious, you know hard gaze smoldering he's not cast as like the babysitter you know no. what i mean and the same for vin diesel or the rock like you're typecast you know what i mean that's not to say you can't switch out of those roles and do more ride ranging emotional roles but that's just like what you're doing so like another great example jack black jack black is known for his typecast you know what i love jack black in jumanji yeah he did pretty he good. did a really good job of playing good. that character and granted, maybe that's I'll not show the you, I'll show you one movie, though. You're going to be like, mm, I don't know if I could watch you again, Jack Black, after this role. Which, which movie? It's on Netflix, and I can't I, yeah, I can't even remember the name of the title, but it's it's, a, it's, a, a, it's a weird Jack Black movie. They're, they're, they're all like, there's a Jake Gyllenhaal uh, movie that's this, really weird. This where one's he's really, like, you're like, hmm, I can't believe you did this role, Jack Black, but okay, that mm, that's different. You went outside the box I don't for know, sure on I've that one. I have seen some weird. They have that I, thought one. It was, I thought it was going to be funny. You know, I was like, oh, oh. Jack Black, okay, cool. Right, and see, that's you. That's why you know, because you went in thinking he was supposed to, that's your fault. So I that's went in there, I went in there, and I was uh, like, see, now I gotta go look at it, because I'm not gonna go in expecting him to be Jack Black, mm, I'm gonna go in expecting him to be And there was some parts where he tried to be Jack Black, and I was like, okay, this is, okay, maybe I can watch this good. Right, but then, then, you're going, then no, there was see, parts, that's the exact opposite Then there was Smith, parts though. where he would be like, because you're just going mm, because he's Jack Black, you're going to watch Jack Black, you're not going to see him act, you're going to watch Jack and Black. And no, the, the, the story sounded good good at first and then right but they, you just they, admitted they he's not acting like jack they black. did a 180 on the story for me though <laughs> i was like that was not what the story you that's not at all what netflix said it was gonna be <laughs> and you guys told me all right well that that, one, that, one, that <laughs> one, all right that was that was a little on them but yeah if you go in there, then you're just like oh i'm expecting jack like no man come on he can act whatever way they have him acting like if he's act like i really want to see him do like a serious role i'd love to see him do an actually serious role where he's like Oh, well, watch what you call it. Uh, he did a romance movie a long time ago. It was called. Yeah, he uh, was really not that serious in that one either. I can't remember what it was called. No, I, I, I just know seen it the other about. day too. I know the one I'm talking about. And he's really, once again, the character is 
it's yes, but they they write it in the style somewhat times of Jack. Black. I don't know. Shao Hao was kind of one of his. But More once again, it's a comedy serious role. role. But like, he did a really good. Yeah, uh, he does good was, acting. I think one of his better it. acting. He roles does good than acting. But done. I want to see him do Ace. I want to see him be Robin Williams in fucking Goodwill Hunting, or I want that kind of role and see how he does. <sighs> I don't know if see, that's Black the problem: is it. you're stuck on the idea of Jack Black as comedy. I don't think that's Jack, your I, The fault. thing is, I don't even Jack, think Jack Black himself thinks he could do. I think, <laughs> I guarantee you he wouldn't say that. I guarantee you'd be like, yeah, let's do this. I guarantee you. Because that's just who he is. He'll say, yeah, let's do this to fucking whatever. Even like, he's he's also kind of like... The, uh, did you see the Tenacious D hot ones? Where they're eating the hot wings or whatever, the super spicy wings? Mm-mm, it is pretty fucking one. funny. So they're just doing their hot wings and they're talking. It's... But that's why then he's like, yeah, let's do it. It's like, oh, no, let's not do this now. I can't take guys serious just because like even like too when he was trying to do his gaming channel and like he didn't he, to he be got, fair that was a joke he and he treated it as like a, you know that's and then exactly finally what somebody said he's like oh look he's finally playing game <laughs> after like i think it was two months in after he was just random stuff he would just record with his son and stuff it was funny though but i watched a few but you knew that was what you were getting into so, like he, he he never was like I'm gonna be like he was saying it with his user I'm gonna be this serious gay you knew he wasn't fucking serious about that and that's see, that's now. why I can't take Jack Black serious son of a bitch <laughs> I tell you he's like that's on you you gotta you gotta get that out of your mind of that's like no Jack Black is just a joke he's just a joker he's comedy and he is right now but like that's not all he can be like you you know what I mean that's like you don't put Jack Black's in a box how dare you. Watch that movie and you'll be like, hmm, this is one of his more ser- for sure more serious roles he did. And once you see the scene, you're like, damn, Jack Black, damn, I can't see, believe he you're, did you're that. Even <laughs> you're even stuck on a scene, which makes me think that it's something stupid. Oh, it's not stupid. You're just like, I can't believe I watched that. <laughs> you're just looking it up on Netflix, look up uh, Jack Black, and I'm pretty sure you'll... Uh, you know, I'll I'll be able to point that movie out to you real Let's quick. See. Eh? We'll, we'll, we'll pull up, see if we can pull it so I can see later. Because we don't have time. We can pull up a, a clip from it or something. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. All right. This one? Oh, it's the D-Train. Yep, the D-Train. Oh, I wanted to see that too. Yeah, that's another more serious one he did. The, the Palooka Poka King. Have you seen that one? The Poka King? Yeah, I he, think I have seen the He, he actually King. does a... This is actually a good movie. It's an actual, whatchamacallit. He does a... Um, Details. It's, it's a, it's a based on a... Why does it not give you the rating? I don't know. That's but it's based dope. on the true story, though, of a person who becomes, you know, famous in polka or whatever. Yeah, no, I've heard of this one. I heard this was actually a pretty good movie for him, really. See? So, I mean, he does do serious things. I forgot that that was one I of them. I told you. It's like he, but there's the, the D-Train but, is but the one I'm one, talking about. All right, and even this one is the Polka King. It's got built-in fucking humor. Uh, yeah. It just does. Like, the way look, he, I mean, yeah. look at the fucking costume. I it's think like, that's why they kind of picked him, though, for it. Well, all right, like, this one I could see why you would be, because this one is under comedies. So if it's not funny, then it would be... Of disappointment. Whereas this one, ah, this one's absurd, quirky. So oh, they put under comedies on that one, huh? This one, like I said, they tried to be a little funny, under. but I didn't find the jokes, you know, hitting for well, me. Well, it might also just be not your brain either. There's like dark. <laughs> it wasn't you know? even dark humor. It was just I don't know. Masterminds. I've never seen that one. That's another one that's pretty good too. I remember that one. Yeah, with Zach uh, Galifian, whatever his last name this is. This one was pretty. That one was good. You didn't like that one? I, it was all right. I didn't, I like, just, it. I didn't I, like it as much as the other one. I liked it just that? because it had, what's his name in this it? This is still um, my favorite by far. There's no fucking... Oh, my gosh. There's not even one, a fucking That one's just, oh, my gosh. Now, Herb, do the headless guy. We joked about that for weeks, dude. This one, uh, never trust white men. Only one in ten times is white men not lying. I think this is one of those times. <laughs> and he was wrong. It's like he was wrong. It was not one of those times. <laughs> so my horse died. What happened? Yo, yo, watch. You have to watch that D train. Yeah, I'll, I'll check think. it out and see what I think. I'm sure it won't be very good, but that yeah, it wasn't the one of his best. And movies then, that he's done. I, and then I can also also attribute. It, that's why you got to do multiple ones, is because you might catch some bad fucking direction or bad scripting, like oh, that like Jared yeah. Leto and uh or whatever. It was, yeah, in Suicide Squad, because I really do think he's a good actor and could do a good Joker. I think he acted the Joker they wanted him to act, and it was a shitty Joker. 
Yeah, no, I didn't like the way they were trying to do it with it. No, because like, there's no, like, the tattoos and then too, the like, fucking grill. He did try, I guess they said he took his part, part he was trying to take his yeah, part Yeah, it was method serious. acting, but, I mean, if you were method acting, the first thing you would have done was walk in and tear up that fucking character model and say, this looks like fucking crap. Don't make me wear this, please. Yeah, like, he really, I would have. I like, guess if you really, really want because some actors that or he do. was that or he was really into it. And uh, he, he must have really like maybe really liked that role and really liked the vision for it. But and he was going, he was going all in right, for yeah. it, but it you know, just was, didn't come was, out was, the was, way. I was watching some Avengers interview stuff right with the cast, and I I didn't know that. Uh, so like, uh, fuck, this goddamn name, uh, War Machine. Uh, Danny uh, Cheeto or something. Oh, Cheeto. yeah, Don Cheeto. Don, Don Cheeto. Cheeto. Don, Don Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Don Cheeto. I was like, what? That's Don Cheeto, man. You know he's from here, right? Oh, is he? he? Yeah, he went to, uh, I can't remember, West or North or something, something. One of the high schools around here. Um, I don't know if he's from here, from here, but uh, he was talking about how his daughter is actually a big War Machine fan. Oh, and so like so after sorry. that, she would like give him tips on like how to act as War Machine and oh. how to stand and like, and he'd be like, girl, I'm in charge of you. You don't tell me what to do. You know, I tell you what to do. And he's like, how old is she now? She's like 21. Oh, so now she tells you what to do. He's like, yeah, pretty much fucking does it. I was like, but I thought that was cool. So like, I think that's a really big theme and something that makes Marvel really great is that all of the stars for the most part do research into their character and by research i mean comics mm -hmm. like there's at least probably a picture of every comic well most of the comic as the original avengers probably have a picture of them with their comic book every single character and it's important it's important to do that character research and understand who you're because they, they talk about it and people are always just like i remember one they're like yeah beat his ass for revealing endgame it's like guys it's a movie it's not that fucking serious it's like yeah it's also 11 years culmination of cinematic universe Tied with about 70 or 80 years of comic book creation magic for some of these characters from the 60s. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, it's like 60 years. 60 years of comic book creationism of people who have literally grown up with these characters and are, are basically they're like a member of their family or, you know, a person close and old friend in many cases. Like what people don't understand is like, yeah, that'd be like having a dog grow up with you and then like someone told you your dog died and you didn't get to say like, ah, your dog's a bitch. So yeah, you probably punch him in the face, you know. Like it's a little more serious to some people than others. And like, I'm not saying you should go out and beat people up, but I'm just like, it's like you guys don't know, like respect how important it is for some of these comic book goers who never thought they would live to see an Avengers movie. Period. Let mm -hmm. alone the culmination of a Avengers universe, you know, or Marvel universe. So like, it's, I don't know, it's interesting, like the different levels of it. <coughs> <coughs> All right, how are we doing? Oh, we're doing pretty decent. Do we have any specific things we want to talk about coming up? Game stuff? I know Mortal Kombat came out. That was fun. I haven't really been into the games too much, so... Yeah, I, I know that that came, I know that came out, but... I've been doing the games, though. I I'm still, just I like, yeah, do Mortal Kombat. I, I, the new ones I play for the story. They have excellent story. Yeah, that's what I heard, too. I, well, did, I heard some... Some crap though about this one though. Some people weren't liking. I don't know what it was for though. They were giving shit to one of the alternate endings. I think that's what it was. And it was Jax's alternate ending because he abolishes slavery. And my first thing is, uh, they're like, oh, these SGWs. I was like, all right, first of all, anybody who wants to complain about even the theoretical abolishing of slavery in an alternate timeline, you you could come talk to me personally because I would love to whoop that ass. <laughs> Because I obviously know where your intentions are. Because that, that what makes no fucking sense. You're gonna bitch about a hypothetical abolishing of slavery, and I, I, maybe it was something that maybe made white people slaves or something. But I don't think that was the case. I think he abolished slavery. I'll have to go. I haven't finished all the character endings. <laughs> I only finished two or three. But I mean, as go, everything short of making white people slaves, like if you complain about that, like you look racist. Whether or not you are racist, you look fucking racist. Because how are you going to complain about abolishing slavery? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just it's the most bullshit, stupid-ass complaint I've ever fucking heard. It's like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to compare that to that is so stupid. It's like being angry the sun rises. or No, it's not, it's not a good comparison. I, it's like, it's hard for me to, like, why is that a good... Like, there's other good complaints about the game. Don't get me wrong. Like, the a re, they changed a little bit, but, like, there was a really grindy system to get coins. Like, you'd only get, like, 300 a match. And, like... 
10 for or 10,000 for beating a tower which t- takes a while uh and then there were like some you know this that and there's some minor complaints about just the time travel aspect of it which is going to happen with any time travel movie mm-hmm. regardless even though i felt like they did this one much like the other ones in a very uh I thought that this for that. Well, I don't want to see. Don't want to ruin this. The almost gave spoilers there that I didn't want to. Um, oh shit! Do we have comments? No, no comments. Got to double check. I, I don't know. It went well. I think for it, the, the game did well for me. Hmm. Playing through it, the story was good. Two or three hours of play on medium hard would have been longer, but the story shit. The story cinematography, like they have the. It was fucked up. I got the game right got my updates and everything done by the time like an hour had passed of playing the game someone already had the three hour film up on youtube of the, all the game story <laughs> cinematics and shit and i'm just like fucking assholes you how did you even do that you had to do that in beta because there's no way you got the game or you had it ahead of time because there's no way you did the whole recording and uploading in three in a fucking hour from mm-hmm. when the game was released there's just no goddamn way like yeah there's just no goddamn way it's physically impossible so I'm just like, son of a bitch. Like, there goes content that I was planning on making. And then by now, everything's out. So it's like a bitch. If you don't make it on the first fucking day, it's not there. Yeah. Like, and literally, like, less than four days after its release, there was all the endings and all the character intro dialogues, which, God forbid, thank, you know, bless those people for doing it, because those intro dialogue ones are a bitch. Some of them are, they, and that's what their new, like, uh, one of their new catch things is, I think, because it doesn't take too much room, but it can, and it can be done really easily, is uh, they do the different, intro character dialogues for each character and so each character has multiple multiple uh interactions and sometimes multiple with each character so they're like 30 minute videos Mm. of them doing all these interactions and they're cool because sometimes they'll do references sometimes they'll do uh storyline world building shit like they'll do backstory and then sometimes they'll do like self-reference stuff so like i remember one is like uh Raiden, it's Raiden and Liu Kang, and Raiden and Liu Kang's like, Raiden, are we the deadly alliance? He's like, no, that is Kronika's deception. And then Liu Kang, or a recipe for Armageddon. So they're referencing their last three games prior to nine, Deception, Arm- Armageddon, and Mortal- or Deadly Alliance, which was like their three. Or they did the references, which with Sub-Zero and Raiden, they'll have one where it's like, I dreamed of, a, in, of an un- unjust world with a dark night and a caped wonder. So they're referencing themselves as DLC characters from yeah. Injustice 2. Which sucks because I never even got... No, I got some of those. I got, I got those. Yeah. I, I forgot if I had played them or not on Injustice 2. And shit, just shit like that. There'll be like backstory stuff. So like one of the cool ones like you never know and that they reveal here. Which I... Ne- well, maybe they reveal it somewhere else. But I was pretty sure no one else... Because I had done some research before. And I've been watching some of the... Because uh, I've done the comic ones. But I've read a lot of the series. So sometimes it doesn't make sense to me to go through those. But the video game ones are really expensive. <laughs> mm-hmm. The kind of history ofs. And I can't remember. It's like Gamer Thumb makes a really good one. Hmm. I can't remember. I, I'll, I'll give them a shout out. Uh, but yeah, Gamer Thumb makes some really good ones of Resident Evil and Mortal Kombat, where they're like backstories. Resident Evil, way better. They're, they're like six videos, and each of them are an hour minimum. <laughs> but they're, they're good. They break the story down every single game, chronologically, background included, you know. And so they did that with Mortal Kombat as well, and there's like lots of stuff. But for this one, so that one of the facts is like you have Kano fighting Sub Zero, right? Mm-hmm. And he's like, blah blah blah, Kano. And he's like, yeah, something about his scar. And he was like, well, who gave you that scar? And he's like, and then he's like, oh yeah, it was me. And so you don't know that before that that uh, uh, Sub Zero has a, the new Sub Zero second Sub Zero has a scar down like his right or left eye, and you never, you kind of just assume it's from Scorpion or someone fighting, but it's from Kano apparently. And so there's like that backstory or there'll be other backstory and they just have gotten really popular for those. Or that would be funny. Shit like that. Hmm. And, uh, shit. Yeah. But I like them. They're, they're good. And then they have rich, like I said, cinematic universes that have been built or not cinematic game universes, I guess that have been built over time. And, you know, people really care about that, you know, and it'd be for good reason. They're interesting characters and they'd get developed. Yeah. I was, I've been playing Sakaro. Sekiro? Sekiro? Yeah, that's fun. How far that's are you? Playing. The Sunken Valley. Okay. Did you... Um, shit. I'm trying to remember exactly all the spots. I think I remember this. Isn't that where the guns show up? Or is that the gun fort? Yeah, it's the gun fort. Right okay, there. so it's like right there with that. And then I'm now facing the ape. 
Okay. Oh, so you're facing the the guardian ape? Yeah. The uh, dude with the mm-hmm, with the sword. That guy's an asshole. And then yeah, you have to. Did you at least go back and get your uh, second res? Oh, I think so. I, don't, I, I fucked don't up. Know. I don't even know if you can, because you can go different paths. Me and my friend played. Oh yeah, it's at, like, like the same time. Yeah, like Dark Souls, same thing. You can. Yeah. It, some of them are you some kind of have. There's there's some things you do have to do, but a lot of it, like I skipped entire sections and came back. So like I was at uh, the Sunken Valley and the there's another one, the dark, the deep abyss. I got to the deep abyss before oh, yeah, the going, gun. Fort. Yeah, you're going way too far. But, <laughs> but it's because so you know that ninja you fight in the little hole or whatever where you start yeah. out. I beat him way before you're supposed to beat him just by outplaying him. And then I was able to go to the Sunken Valley. So I fucking, I fucked my shit up. Like, and then like, so for instance, you can get your second res before you go to fight the guardian ape. And I did, and I didn't take it. Did I should have took did it. Did you fight the, whatever the. I fought pretty much everything now. I'm at basically, I think I'm at the last, last fight. I'm not sure I am though. Cause I haven't checked and I haven't played in a while. Cause I, there were just more games coming out, mm-hmm. and I got another game called Weed Crafting that fucked me up because it's a management game for. How weed. long did it take you to get the to where you were now? Oh shit, I don't even know. Quite a few hours took a while. It's still not as hard as Dark Souls, in my opinion. The problem being that Dark Souls has the stamina bar, and the stamina bar is affected by basically everything you do, including blocking yeah. and moving. And in this, you only have your posture bar. The posture, though, isn't last as long, though, as it should. As you no, it doesn't. To. It should so stay a, up. And, and like I said, you can dodge without damaging your posture. Even though it doesn't recover, it doesn't drain like when you're in Dark Souls mm-hmm. doing stuff and you're losing stamina for dodging. Mm-hmm. Or uh, The other thing is the amount of tools. As I'm sure you've noticed, you have different tools and yeah. they make certain enemies a lot easier. Like one of them, I had the hardest time with my friend told me, he's like, oh yeah, find the umbrella, dude. He, you hit him if he block twice with the umbrella he loses posture and you kill him You're like well that would have been nice to have the fucking umbrella or even other characters that were the same thing where it's like this so like uh there's ones that we found the centipede dude with the oh that that was this that guy with the 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 whatchamacallit the sickles are they sickles he, he's like crawls on the ground and... yeah and he shoots fire no he doesn't shoot fire maybe not then maybe he, he's like he has like a barrage attack. He like crawls on the ground and just da 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 yeah. da da. That yeah. one was super. I literally beat that in like three minutes because I was like, yeah. literally, all you gotta do is just ding 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 ding, and you see his posture, and then he's already done. Boom, and then that's it. You're done. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, that was the most easy. I was complete because I always like, I always hesitate when I go in to go see bosses because I kind of have to like study them first and be like, well, because you fight mm, him ha- twice. Ha- yeah, there's another one too. Another. That one's harder because you have the little ones. And yeah, they're, they're, yeah, there's they're another one. Fire and those ones, I uh, that one to make it easier, I just uh, stay at the top and I just go fling with my, my yeah, little you're thing. shurikens. And then they're that all is dead. The one of the other things is the shuriken's such a cheaty way to fuck with anyone who has no range. Like they literally can't, even the bosses can't do shit to you when you're. Yeah, but it's a helpful though because uh, I I needed it a lot because uh, I forgot the the main samurai guy who comes back anyways after you kill him. Um, it ended up helping a lot because he, the one where he hits you and then he takes a big old step back and then it takes you kind of a little bit to get back to him. So if you throw a shuriken and then you hit, then your guy goes like, oh, like yeah, he'll like, well, they have attacks based off of your like use of those weapons. Yeah. And so. if you use different ones, so he'll go do the same yeah, thing. He'll and that go was cut the same through. for me. My and favorite was, one is still the firecrackers because they like momentarily stun whoever's in front of you. Yeah. I only use that ones for the beasts. They, they end up helping me like for the yeah. guardian. I don't use those anymore either because uh, I got, I'm farther. So now I have the finger whistle. Oh yeah, yeah that's what I heard about the other, that. that. That one is super cool just because you can fucking call out. Oh, that helps so much later when you're able to just like attract one enemy and that's it. Like you can literally just like select him and hit uh, it and he'll come to you. And that is so useful later because there's, there's some really asshole fucking yeah. people. If there's this Sometimes one dude, them ceramic shards don't work too because I'd be throwing oh, it. Oh, the ceramic shards are like, pieces of I'm shit. I'm like, come dude. on, bro. Throw it right there. You're not going they for it. They really <laughs> don't do shit either. They'll like look at it for a second. They don't even look around. They're like, all right, I'll go back to my fucking spot. Like, it's the worst. I never use the ceramic shards. So I just I never sell them. Fucking, yeah, I never. <laughs> Same with the fistful of ash. Like, it's kind I of just useful sell those. for like a te- it's, I it's just useful sell those. for like They're... five seconds and I, you realize I even, it's nothing. Yeah, I bother. I do not bother. You, you realize really quickly it's not worth shit. Um, 
And there's other shit. I mean, I'm sure that there was. I've, I've been trying to get more. I got them all now. I have all the the tools. Like I went around and found all the like Shinobi oh. tools. I didn't even know that I had found them all, but apparently I had. And it was like you found all the tools. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, I don't know many I still need. I've caught quite a few things. I've got like eight. So far. there's a lot. There's like ten or twelve. So you'll find them all. They're not that hard to find. There's one. So, yeah, the hardest just... one, in my opinion, was one that um you have to like interact with some guards to get. I'm just stuck on the stupid ape because I, I don't like the I don't like the beasts in the so, game. No, I understand because the, they're very. Um, sporadic. How far have you gotten to on the beast? With on the, the guardian. Oh, I got to the part where he cuts his head off. Okay. And that that's even worse because then he he's even more like we don't know what he's. It's gonna actually do. he's actually really easy. His the second pattern is the easier pattern in my opinion. So and I can tell you a couple a couple tricks. So you know the trick where he like lunges super far to smack it's you? It's that one I hate. That's that was actually the easiest one. There's a spot where you can just stand and not block and he'll miss you. <laughs> I'm telling you, it sounds stupid, but literally if he comes at you like that when he makes the jump, uh -huh. step forward just a little bit. Just a little bit. like <coughs> Pretty much to where you're right in front of where the hilt of his sword does, he'll swing right over you and miss you. And you'll be able to smack him a couple oh, times. Yeah. Uh, and that's so usually that. how I get it. And then what the sucks one. is because it's just a, such a tedious fight. It is because you basically have to we, block all that shit. The only and good then time you're not really him. doing too much damage, honestly. No, you never so, do. So it's like, damn, it's gonna take like, forever. Like I said, the best thing for him uh, in the in the first form, block as much as you can. The only there are only two good times to attack him where you can have, ever get like any serious damage. One is when he does the really big swing, but the problem is sometimes he comes with a back swing. Mm -hmm. The other one is when he does his stupid pound, where he's like, mur, 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 mur. Oh, that one's my favorite one. That's the that's, best, that's the best one because then as he... soon as he hits the last hit, you just wail his ass. Yeah, that's the yes when I hit him the best. But that's that's really the only time to get him good. But when he's doing the uh, jump one, because I had the, so much trouble getting him too. I was so pissed too, but it was the best. That also, one, uh, yeah, I the villain was so good because it, it's hard, man. I took a second for him too. The, the, the funny thing is, I think that guy's harder than the guy I'm fighting now. Like I'm yeah, farther along, and he's so I much. I just harder. don't like the beast. The second the part, game. like I said, gets me because it was good. It was super awesome and super not awesome because it was one of those surprise things that was like, yeah, because you beat him and then he's dead for a second, and you're like, okay, cool. Hello, can I get can I get the fuck out of here? Hello, hello. Yeah, and he picks gets up, back his, up. I love his movement though. The way he moves, like he can't see because his head's fucking Stupid. moving. <laughs> Come on, that shit's awesome. The, the variety of enemies is probably my favorite yeah, part of that game. It's pretty cool. I like. Yeah, I like it. I, like I said, I think it's harder for me because when I played Dark Souls, I played more as the knight and shield person. So, oh, so I was always constantly always just having my shit guarding and this one it kind of takes you out of that and it, it wants you to do more parrying and really you just it's a lot of parrying you gotta know how to it's do more good yeah it's less about blocking which if like you I don't said, know how to do the good parrying you're not gonna be able to beat that game and that's you can though if you do dodging and see so and like then good dodging but then like good. it's harder it's harder it makes it hard yeah so parry it wasn't, is the best wasn't built for that you no, know they didn't make you, yeah they didn't make you one no. and that's and honestly that's i the, think the cheap i think way to go out of it like damn it uh I can't play it the normal way, so I'm just gonna dodge it like every time. <laughs> like it is, it is it because some of them you really do need to dodge. Oh no, there's some moves you you necessarily do. But right, like, right, right. But, but like, yeah. But I'm like dodging saying, everything, yeah. And it, like, even sometimes like, dodging is smart. I mean, it's one of the moves. On that's your how list Dark Souls like. was for me. Like I would just like roll, roll, right, roll, right. roll, because I would never parry. I would just roll. roll. Right. <laughs> so that's didn't why that I, strain stamina, or did rolling not drain stamina in Dark Souls? It, 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 it does, wasn't like a it bunch. Does, it was a but little. But it's like bit. if you beefed up your guy good enough, right, and you, you just knew how to, And yeah. that's the difference in this that's, one: is you don't get a rank. That's any, what I don't. Only stats yeah. you get a rank are basically physical damage and health. This is what no, makes it different and more like harder because you're like, fuck, bro, I can't like. I can't build my damn guy to what I want him to be to beat these fuckers. Like you do get more gourds and stuff, but yeah, you don't get stronger yourself. Well, yeah. you do. Once you get the prayer beads, you get a little more yeah, damage. Yeah. No, but... that's good there, but I'm just I'm just saying like, you right, know, like you can't do you the can't, stamina like, your actual, or the... like your good good stats. This right. Is just... And this one's definitely more focused. There wasn't as many options, obviously you don't have all the different classes. And, and I like that they were kind and of And it's going supposed to be route. it's themed, right? It's yeah. themed along a story where just Dark Souls was kind of this open story of anybody could have hopped in and been the hero, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is Sakura so, is yeah, the, the hero. He is a Japanese, and that's why the posture and the guarding is such a big thing. Is because that's what's important for them is posture and guarding, you know, right parrying and and swords and shit. Um, 
Oh man, there will be one guy you fight that is so much harder than the fucking ape in some ways. But I don't want to ruin because that that some of the fun parts are those like surprise things at the end of the fight or the fight that you don't expect. Like oh, I was gonna try to beat the snake, but I left the snake alone. I don't think you can beat the snake. Can there's you? there's one part if you before you go beat the giant ape if you go the other way to the swamps. Mm-hmm. There's you can a, fight this. There, oh, I there, think you can fight the snake. You have to do a, like a ritual to summon it. I have all the stuff now and just haven't done it. I haven't tried the other ones. I haven't tried are the uh, headless ones. Yeah, there. I haven't tried those ones either. I, I don't even. I don't I even want my, to. I got my. Ass I already know. Kicked. You need. I already know. You have to have the divine confetti yeah. number one, or you can't even fight him. And then he kicks your fucking ass, dude. Yeah. So even with the double res, I couldn't body that dude. Like he so was I, a dick. That's why I say nope. Not gonna mess because nope. I already know these ones are one of those. They're uh, post end game. They're definitely post end game. There's no way they're not. Or like right pre. There's Unless no you're really good. Like there is some people I I'm have sure you could really fucking good. outplay the shit out of it, but it didn't meant to be played that way. Okay. And it's like you said, you could do it, but it's such a pain in the ass. Like I said, not even fun at that point. I mean, some of them aren't anyway. But like, oh, that one also took me forever because I didn't get the right thing. Was the fucking bull. The bull was messing you up too? I didn't get the fire th- stuff. So I didn't have the fire, oh, the fire cord. Oh. So I kept lighting on fire. I not only that, that didn't really that actually didn't even use the fire gourd the whole time. Ass kicked. And then there was something I, else. I, like, they even had to dumb it down because people were getting so pissed at it. I was like, really? I was like, yeah. It, was, it took it was, me okay maybe three times. I was like, fuck! How am I supposed to beat this bull? He like gives me no time to like rest. He like turns yeah, he and then turns he's and like, uh, like damn! He gives me no time to rest. So then I watched the video and the guy was like, you just, I, got, you watched the I had video. to, I had to, cause I was like, I didn't watch Damn video, it. I just kicked his ass. I didn't guy, watch any videos. For but these. then the thing is like, even if you watch the what video, did you do? I jumped off the walls a bunch. That's no, I like his ass. even like you, you could parry him. Yeah. That's what it was. I think he, we, I had to parry a lot. And then right when he does like a, he was doing a turn, yeah, his then you, turns. then you do a roll and then he takes him a few minutes to kind of, then you could hit him a couple of times. Yeah. And then my, my big one was I learned to parry. And then what I would do my original strategy. And then I learned more. It was more about just getting that perfect parry. But my original strategy was I fucking played him on the wall. Cause he couldn't hit me even with his jump. As long as I double jumped off the wall. Ah. So I double jump behind him, smack him, double jump behind him. Smack him. Cause that was, there were a couple. That one kind of pissed me off. Uh, that one, yeah. Because um, he he burns you even when you're guarding. Right? Oh, but not even beyond that. All right, so that pissed me off. But what really pissed me off is there's a key you get to go somewhere after that. I didn't get the key in the memory scene. Like I'd missed the old guy laying there or something and just went in. Oh, all the way you mean you and didn't I couldn't get to beat Lady Butterfly? Yeah, I couldn't get yeah, to Lady Butterfly. Yeah, that's you're actually supposed. That's the first thing you're supposed to do. Right, so I anything. did that after I beat the bull. Because if you go in there, you find a shit ton of uh, yes. press, and it starts to explain like, hey, this is how you do this. This is right. How you there do was that. all kinds of stuff in there. So one, you got the prayer bead stuff, so that leveled you up. Like, like I said, I went in totally wrong directions because. <coughs> of that. So like before I even beat Lady Butterfly, I had been to the abyss. Already, I'd beaten the ninja dude and gone down there because I couldn't get to Lady. I was like, "Do I have to like?" For a, for a second, I was like, "Is that why I need the snap seeds? Because like the door is an illusion and it's closed." And I didn't snap even need the snap seeds. They don't really too. help that I much. Just, I just, I just, I just, they, ran. they suck because like in order to dodge them, you really have to run really fucking well. Because if you just, it's really about waiting and then running. Because if you run first, they'll just chase you and hit you every fucking time. Yeah, I would, uh, I would run all the way to the wherever I was at and then I would run all the way to the other end and then I would turn around boom 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 throw some shurikens just to grab me back some more uh spirit uh yeah because I the shurikens help a lot like when you're fighting her too because I didn't really when she, use them too much yeah when she's up in the air you could just and she oh fuck <laughs> she falls oh, yeah, and I, never hit her. I just waited because as long as you if you dodged her uh and then it messes parried. up her posture too so she you give a good like Couple seconds. She's a couple seconds together too so yeah i just waited because as long as you parried or dodged out of the way it was the same thing yeah and for her she wasn't very hard for me like, no at the, first the spirit sucked at first because i had to figure out how to run to dodge him because they would just smack me even if i was running oh those the ones when they would come back and yeah, die and just, oh so that what you got to do is you you have to like see where they're all chilling at and then when they die all right there you have to face where they all die so that you have your sword there because then they're going to start. Oh, and I didn't then... even block them. I outran them. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, I figured you... out I figured out how to outrun them. You have to wait until they're like halfway to you and then book it because then they're already on like the yeah, straightest. Because if you ran too early, they would just chase, just chase you, you on yeah. the, and on the twisted path, they could hit you. But as long as you waited, 
until they were probably just a little bit from you and then maybe use some of the pillars to your advantage, but you would just, and I'd maybe sometimes get caught with one, but I didn't have the damage, didn't have to block. I would just wait and then you'd kick yeah. your ass. If you blocked, it wouldn't eat no damage either. I kept getting damaged even through my block for those. It, it depends, scared. like it depends, like if you're not like perfect, perfect orientated, yeah, it would like there'd be a few. Because I remember I hit. the other ones were where she would really get me less even than those ones sometimes, like when I would be fighting her and then I'd be blocking her attack and her spirit she'd already summoned the like she would summon three or whatever she would shoot those while I was attacking her, so I couldn't like block and orient so to take myself for that, so those would smack me and like do a little bit like they wouldn't do full damage but be, even with your guard up they would smack a little but yeah I, I figured out the running tactic at the end i was like thank god and usually you can with stuff like that just because the way like projection and follow dynamics mm -hmm. work but at first it was a bitch because it wasn't working i was like no it keeps fucking smacking me what do i gotta do oh i just wait a little bit a little bit of patience but and some of that stuff really is, is like for the fucking giant ape is all patience because really the only time to smack him in that secondary form is when he misses that uh the forward swipe because he does the little foosh and he'll miss and then you just go smack 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 and go, rah, rah, rah. yeah i gotta beat him probably this weekend it'll be fun i was... i should i should take time and finish uh because like i said i'm pretty sure i'm on either the last enemy or maybe like the last section to go towards but i have all the stuff i've beaten a bunch of motherfuckers i've in most of the areas i can see on the map like i'm pretty sure i've like i gotta go back and explore shit you know underwater shit all that crap but for the most part, I think. Yeah, usually when set. I get to like a new area, I like, I explore the shit out of oh, that I'm place. Very <laughs> That's how I found half my ones. Like, oh God, that one was such a pain in the ass. The, I can't remember. It was like the wind howling one, but it's one of the ones where you buy the planet and it tells you where it's at. Because there's some you can go to like the vendors uh -huh. and they'll give you maps. Or they're like, not maps, but they're like clues to where you can oh, find Oh, yeah, yeah. Items. To find, yeah, other things. Yeah, yeah. Those ones, yep. So those are pretty cool. I, it was a good game. I really like it. I, I always, so my friend's buying it like this weekend or... Yeah, I finally, or finally bought it. Cause I, and I got it for, I only bought it for like 40 bucks. Cause I, oh, I always good. get the, I do that Bing rewards. Oh, okay. If you do that, you get like, uh, if you get a good amount, um, they do like 15, $10, $20 good. gift cards. Them out. Nah, I've been Just doing for that doing again. searches and answering their and quizzes then, uh, every once in a while. Oh shit. Oh, we talked about that for a while. Yeah. Um, so before but, I go, I want to take a second and do something I said I was going to do for two. I'll do it for the other game too, but this one's more important to me. Uh, so I actually got to talk with a guy. His name is, uh, I don't know what the fuck his name was, Ted uh, Dykstra or Dykstra. And he's a board game designer. And ah. so I got up, I was, it was like late, real night, real late one night at the con, con and like there was nothing else to do. And we have, we get a hotel room so we can just stay there because it's a bitch to run back to your car or run back to the house and shit every day when you're at a like long con. Um, and this game was cool. Uh, it's a game about being a cat and your goal is to destroy the house. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so basically it's set up like he has his own board design and everything like cards and shit made professionally. So he's pretty far. He's trying to get a Kickstarter going and he's like marketing it for some German markets so that it'll be German English and have two sided cards. But the basis is you get three or four cats or whatever. The board is the house and you got like the bedroom and the dining room and shit. And there's stuff in the, each room TV and you can either steal uh knock over or destroy any one of these things to get points and the first person to i think it was 13 points wins and then you have like the human running around and the human is like there to catch the cats but the human is interesting because he runs on like a reverse cycle so the turn order moves this way and the human order moves this way and so when it's your turn and you're a human you also do the human before your turn and you go like try to catch cats and get points or stuff hmm. and there's like different dynamics but it was a really interesting game and like, it was fun we played a couple times uh you know we got pretty close to like it was me at like 15 and then someone else had like 13 and 10 and 7 or something you know it was, it was nice space it wasn't too close and so if you guys wanted to check uh out that game we'll see if i can put it on the screen well well but it's called catastrophe and you can go to it at facebook.com slash catastrophe cat game and i'll actually tag it in the chat real quick um just so we can get um see hopefully he's actually that looks like it but i'm not sure so you know we'll just put the whole link
and then we'll hopefully do another i'll do like an official review for youtube later and okay. stuff but yeah he's really cool i mean if you wanted to contact him try probably through facebook it's uh mind's eye studios which is m-y-n-d-z-e-i studios mind's eye fun yeah and then i'll show the card to the thing but um yeah check it out it's a really good game if you like cats you'll fucking love it i'm sure um <laughs> no i i really am like it's and even if you don't it's a good game so if you enjoy board games you'll enjoy it sounds good um Oh, yeah, catastrophe. It'll be a fun game. And then the game you saw that I was playing when we got here was um because I didn't get a copy of this game because it's not in print. Uh One Night Ultimate Supervillains. It's just mm. a super fun game. Okay. It's like a uh who's who kind of game. And uh it's a shorter version of other games they have, like etc. like a condensed version but basically you have everyone as a person and you're trying to you have teams and you're trying to get that team to pick someone on that team it's pretty fun it's also an interesting game there it's from the one night ultimate series of board games so they okay. have more versions and if people wanted to check them out they're pretty good uh any other news you got no not that i can think of right now so it's, it's one of those low points end game just came out so yeah so like everything's kind of focused on that in the post effects mm -hmm. of that so oh here i guess i'll show that since i have it this is from that one night uh ultimate super villain one this is they do werewolves because that's the original company name is one night ultimate werewolf but you get it on the it's pretty cool werewolves playing cards <laughs> yeah and it's got big advertisements like cool on the back thing. this one was cool so the werewolf legacy which is like the big one uh that one is like up to fucking 50 people or something oh wow yeah it's like a massive board game play like for but the, that one works a little different it's not condensed and obviously mm. not a fast game but yeah that was a pretty good cast it was nice to get back to doing the stuff and hopefully we'll do it again next week yeah. all things willing and uh yeah we'll catch you guys next time on comic convo no <laughs> all right we'll see you guys later <laughs>